if you ask us. <laughs> yeah. It's like 500 million or something. Yeah, it's up there. That, that would be life changing. Yeah, I'd say so. Oh, oh gosh, yes. Oh, gosh, yes. Yeah. I'll tell you what is life changing for a lot of people is this cold weather. Holy life altering. Moly. It's, cold it weather. is. It's it's life altering, <laughs> isn't it? I mean, yes. it's just crazy. And and for for us here, I mean, I, we're not at least we're not getting snow. Yeah. And we're not getting sleet. But, but I can't it wear is my, cold. You know, we can't wear our bathing suits around all the no, time and our flip no flops. Flip -flops. And I just don't want to live in a world where we can't, you know, <laughs> do that on, on a daily basis here and I, in Florida. And, and he was all dressed up in his shorts and and he did have. At least he had a sweater on. I'm so glad. It's what we think we're buying into. Yeah, I tell you what. Well, well, things are about to change. So this is what's going on tonight. We still have one night left. We've got one night of cold weather. Temperatures are going to get down into the 40s. They're already there. Clear skies for the night. But then this week, temperatures are going to start to warm up. So today, we only had a high of 60 degrees. So that's chilly. Look at where we're supposed to be. 71 is our normal temperature, 52 the overnight low. We got down to 38 degrees last night. We'll get down to 40 tonight, and 60 was our daytime high. So overnight period, you can see our temperatures are going to continue to go down. 40 degrees at 4 in the morning, and then we start the warm-up tomorrow, and by 10 o'clock we'll be at 53. And it does get better after that, I promise. So 46 degrees right now. It's that crispy feeling with that dew point at only 31 degrees, and our humidity is low, 56%. Winds are coming in out of the east-northeast. And what's going to happen is that we're going to continue to see the clear skies developing tonight and we just had a passing cloud that came on through earlier but no rain we haven't had any rain but again all of this is about to change because this high pressure system is going to be moving into the Atlantic and as it moves into the Atlantic the winds are going to shift around we're going to see them coming in more out of the east southeast that's going to help to warm us up and we're also going to start to see a low pressure area that is located out in the Gulf and it is going to start to make its way across the northern Gulf of Mexico. You can see the showers and associated thunderstorms with that and that's eventually going to make its way over here. So we are going to see the rains developing with the best chance of rain on Tuesday and Wednesday of this upcoming week. But for tomorrow, we start to see some of those showers coming on shore along the east coast. They don't come to the west coast. We're still going to see plenty of sunshine here tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful day. And then it's going to be Monday when we start to get the rains coming on through, but it's going to be during the overnight time period. A little bit of cloud cover coming in throughout the day on Monday. And then we get some of these showers that are going to be moving through along the west coast before the heavier rains come on in. And and that takes place on Tuesday. So again, the temperatures tonight are going to be on the chilly side, but we warm up tomorrow very close to 70 degrees, 67, 68 degrees for the daytime high. And then we're going to see things really start to warm up as the week progresses. Right now, all the really cold weather is bottled up across the Great Lakes, the Northeast, but we're still freezing down to the Southeast with Atlanta now reporting 27 degrees and it's 14 in Raleigh and now this is what it's going to look like over the next couple of days we've been talking about it all along tomorrow 68 for the high lots of sunshine rain comes in during the nighttime hours on Monday Tuesday and Wednesday are going to be your big rain chances but look at the temperatures this is the price we pay for our temperatures back up very close to 80 next week Adam